Hi there, I'm Jabba's Rancor, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection, UK. Aren't I a pretty boy? Hi there, I'm Jay, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection, UK, and today's video is brought to you from a galaxy far, far away. So, I've got a couple of new Star Wars items in. From the Vintage Collection, we have the Endor Bunker scene from Return of the Jedi for the 40th anniversary which was my favourite Star Wars film when I was growing up, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't actually collect Vintage Collection, but I do like to use some of the diorama pieces in the Black Series. So what we will do in this video is get this built, and then I will try and get it in to the Black Series display, and see if I can work this with Jabba and all the friends from Return of the Jedi. And talking Return of the Jedi, it's not quite Return of the Jedi, but it's close. It's the Black Series Mandalorian Luke Skywalker. He's also turned up. So I'm going to get him unboxed as well today. So a couple of Star Wars items. I'm looking forward to this one. So let's see how we get on. And I'll get on my lovely camera lady here, Cheeky Monkey Kiara, to pan up to where we will be building, which is the top of the Star Wars section. So hopefully at the end of this video, we will have some new figures in the display. Right then, we have changed locations for the unboxing segment. We are down in the kitchen for the eagle-eyed viewers among you for the Vintage Collection 3 and 3 quarter inch scale Return of the Jedi Endor Bunker with Endor Rebel Commando Scout Trooper in disguise action figure. My goodness, that was a lot of words, wasn't it? So this has come from Kapow Toys here in the UK. So I'll give you a shot of the box there. You can see what your hope is inside because, of course, we are on plastic free cardboard packaging which of course we all love <clears throat> detect my sarcasm but with the play sets that is more of a throwback to the kennedy days as well because that is how they came back then so let's get the knife in and hashtag flip open the flap can we do this in one little shot oh wow, just about just about so what i've got to do is see where the figure is because i don't collect the three and three quarter inch figures um, I want to keep the uh, the figure mint because he's going to go straight on eBay to be honest with you because I have literally only bought this for the bunker and the black series display so let's take a look at the figure first oh, he is unpunched as well so they do seem to put a lot of effort into the three and three quarter inch vintage collection figures so this is actually quite a nice figure on the car back of the rebel commando in disguise in the sort of scout trooper armour I do like the scout trooper armour from a uh, Return of the Jedi. I used to have one of the um, figures as a kid from the Power of the Force line, and I nicknamed him a Ben Scouter bike. There you are. So he used to he used to play about with all my other action figures on his Scouter bike, and I called him Ben. I don't know why. Maybe I thought he was Obi Wan. So that is a look at the figure. That is the closest you'll be seeing on this video, though, because I'm not opening him. Because as I say, he's going straight on eBay. So wish him goodbye. So all our pieces are going to be inside here. So what I might do is try and attempt some fancy editing here. So in 3, 2, 1, you may see a time lapse. Well, my goodness, that was a ball ache. Well, it wasn't too bad. It was just me being a bit thick, I think. So it actually took 5 minutes and 46 seconds in real time. But if I've got the uh, all the motions and everything to work there, that should be a lot quicker for your viewing pleasure. So there is the Endor Bunker in 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. And to be fair, I'm quite impressed with it, really. It was a uh, £58 overall. I do like the green sort of, the green camouflage sort of 
plant deco of the end or planet on top there. You do have the sliding doors that work well and I could actually work out how to use them. You've got the control panels and things in the side there as well. So I think it actually will work quite well as a, a dia piece. Obviously it's going to scale very well to your three and three quarters. But as a background piece, I think this will work in the black series display. So in a later part of the video, we will get that in the display. So I'm going to take a lot of figures off to get this on. But now we will go to the black series and we will have a look at the Luke Skywalker figure. So here is the Mandalorian Luke then. Imperial light cruiser from the end of season two of the Mandalorian. We've got the art design on the side of the packaging. And he's number 30 in the Mandalorian. I oh, might God, we've got 30 Mandalorian figures. They've been pumping those out, haven't they? So again, plastic free packaging. So let's hope he's actually in there. So for the second time in this video, hashtag flip open the flap. Here we go. And we're in. Luke, or as they say, a potato. Let's find out. Ooh, cardboard coffin as ever. Looks like the lightsaber gets its own coffin, so it does look like a figure at least. Uh, we've got to rip the end of this off. We do have to rip the end of this off for a lightsaber. Hopefully it's green. It seems to be green. Come on out then. Ooh, straight out the bottom. Let's have a look. So there is a look at the lightsaber. So it is this sort of... I wonder if we can do this. This seems to help. Fo look, it's actually worked. My goodness, get your hand in there. And it does focus. All these Zoom calls since COVID have taught us something at least. At least that works. So there is the lightsaber, of course, which Luke got in Return of the Jedi. There's Jedi Knight's saber. And let's have a look at the figure then, if I can get him out of here. All right, you come. See you later on that one. Oh, we got... Oh, look at that. We got some Star Wars print on the paper. Why am I getting impressed with paper? I shouldn't be really, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. So let's have a look. Let's get his foot sorted out. So here is Luke in his Jedi robe. They have gone for a black robe. Was it black or was it dark brown? I can't remember now. I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know. But we've got the Mandalorian version of Luke here. And he looks pretty good. I know Luke's... Uh, let's do that again. Luke's head sculpts aren't always the greatest... And this was, of course, CGI animated in The Mandalorian. So I think it I think it does the job for Luke compared to some of the sculpts we've got. Of course, we've got a very similar figure to this in my beloved Rancor Haslab that failed. Because, uh, well, they didn't offer us much with it, did they? And it was a bit overpriced. But I would have still liked a proper, a proper Rancor. But I have used the three and three quarter inch ones. So there's a look at his rear view there. If you want to see the rear of Luke. Um, you've got is it single, oh, your single jointed knees then on the... Uh, Oh, that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. Don't put your hand in front of the figure. What an idiot. There we go. Single jointed knees, so not the greatest, but they do function. Are we going single or double on the... Oh, we're going single as well. So the articulation does seem a bit backwards, doesn't it, on Black Series? The three and three quarters making a lot forward, but they've definitely lost something in articulation. But the overall sculpt, though, on the figure does look pretty good. This is my favourite version of Lucas, sort of Return of the Jedi look. So happy to have this for the Mandalorian shelf. So... We will do some comparisons to him when we get him upstairs in the toy room. So now, let me just try a sort of scale there. Well, Luke's scale in front of the... So I think that's going to work. Obviously, it's not in, in true scale there, but I think that will do the job in the display. So, enough said. Let's go and get these bad boys in the Star Wars collection. All right, we've made it to the toy room. So let's try and get Luke in his home on the Mandalorian shelf. Now, I do have a lot of catching up to do with Season 3. I've only watched the first episode, so I'm... Three episodes behind. Let's see if we can get Luke in here next to Ahsoka. Come on. Are you going to stand? You are going to stand. Look at that. So, pan back a bit. So, he is in there in his black cape next to Ahsoka. So, very happy to have him on the Mandalorian shelf. I will do a deep dive on this part of the collection closer to the end of the series when I've managed to catch up. Now let me just pull down the other version of Luke, which is up here next to his mate, the Rancor. From Return of the Jedi, that did do the intro to the video, so let's pull him down. Let me just do a quick side by side. Come on down, Luke. If you're going to balance, you're probably not going to balance. Yeah, you're gone. Bloody hell, I've gone to balance. Look at that. So, different head sculpt on the new one. Obviously, the brown and the black robe has changed. There's a bit of belt detail on the new one with no sort of silver belt buckling on that one. I think the legs are the same. The Jedi version has the exposed hand, and the Mandalorian version has the black glove. On Luke's sort of replacement hand there so slightly different so you don't need both in your collection really but 
I do love me a bit of loot. I think I have bought every single loot they've ever done. So I will keep up that trend. So there is Luke on his Mando shelf. And the next thing we're going to have to do is go into my sort of Endor Return of a Jedi section up here and get everything moved to get the bunker in. I'm not 100% where it's going to go. We've sort of got the speeder bike up the back there with the Gamorrean guard and Jabba the Hutt. Maybe we could go up with Jabba and I could move Jabba. We've got the end of sort of Jedi there with Darth Vader losing his hand. But we have the end or sort of chase scene at the front here. And then the rancor there. So somewhere in this area that's pretty full. This thing was a bit bigger than I actually thought. So it's going to have to fit in here. But I'm going to have to take most of these figures off and make some space and see where we can put him. Right, you uh, you now find me up a ladder with a with an X-Wing dangling from the ceiling on some fishing wire. So... I've come up the ladder into the Star Wars section, so over we go. Now, I've measured it, and it's about 14 inches, the end or bunker, so it is bigger than expected, so there's going to have to be a lot of moving, I think. So I see two options, really. Jabba the Hutt and everyone on the back can move, or it can go down below Jabba here. So I'm thinking the below might work if you haven't got, like, a frame to sit Jabba on. So Jabba, at the moment behind the scenes there he's actually on some old cds on some star wars wallpaper that are sort of making some shelf rises at the back so what i think i'm going to have to do is clear all the figures off in this area and then see if it will fit so i've roped in down here the uh, glamorous assistant doesn't she look happy to be with us everybody say hello cheeky monkey hello cheeky monkey there you go she's cold in the box for me to put the figures in so we will literally take a few off and I thought I'd film a bit of the process here with my glamorous assistant. Glamorous assistant. There you are. She she's back again on the channel. I couldn't get rid of her, but she has a use, as you see. She can hold a she can hold a mean box, even though I told her to bring a box, and she bought the wrong box. I just picked the one that was nearest. See, there you go. Look, she looks so thrilled, doesn't she, everybody? I've got things to do. Things to do. Things to do in the middle of a Star Wars Black series video. What could be more important than filming a lovely Star Wars Black series video? So, I will carry on with this process. I won't film the rest, otherwise I think she might kill me. So, when you next see me, hopefully there'll be a nice empty space on this shelf. Right then, so the figures are off in the box. You've got our sort of LED strip lights that I use there as well. And look at the dust. I can't find my duster, so I've taken my sock off, everybody. So she's probably going to kill me for this as well, doing it live on camera. But there is some sock dusting to be had on the top shelf, I think. Look at that. Use what you can. That's my top tip of the day. Dust with your socks. So let's get the bunker. Will it fit? Will it fit? Here we go. Oh, well, we'll be careful as not to knock my head on this bloody X-Wing that's literally uh, right in my head. So are you going to fit in? Are you going to fit? Will you get... Oh, no, you're not going to fit, are you, bugger? Let's have a look. Let's drop it in so I don't... Oh, my God, I can't even drop the thing in. We're having a disaster here. We are having a disaster. Right. Okay, that's not going to fit. I'm going to need to move more stuff i didn't really want to move the emperor but while we're here there is the emperor and again he is using the three and three quarter inch sort of backdrop piece behind him so hopefully i will get the same effect from the bunker on take two right all it took was two hands and a bit of fiddling and i have managed to get it in just had to tuck it behind the uh, the rankle's foot there and for those wondering that is the three and three quarter inch scale rankle which i think was like the three and three quarter inch black series version because, of course, we didn't get the Haslam, but he's bodged in for scale. So this will be the view you would get from down here with the bunker below Jabba. So all sort of the Return of the Jedi figures in that section and the Emperor on his throne is in there. So let's put some figures in and see how we get on. So perhaps we're in his speeder bike. We could have that flying in front of the bunker, which what, what I was originally envisioning. Or maybe it could go on, a, maybe go on top. Oh, that might work. We might have some uh, on top of the roof of the bunker action. So what I will do now is get some of the figures in and see how I can get the final display looking. Well, I've managed to get them on. And overall, I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. So we've got Tebow, I think, on the top there, the Ewok. And we've got the bunker itself. I tried to do sort of a stormtrooper coming out of the bunker, defending it. So you will still see some of it from my sort of lower down viewing angle there so as i say i wanted it sort of as a background diorama piece i knew it wouldn't exactly perfectly scale with black series but i think it does the job quite well really for what i intended to use it for 
maybe I was thinking about getting the, uh, they are doing sort of Jabba's Palace in the vintage collection, but that is quite expensive and it would take up a lot of space on the top here. So I've had a bit of a rearrange then. So Han Solo in Carbonite and Bausch Leia, or the original version of her, I've gone at the back with the scout trooper on the speeder bike over the top. My sort of Jabba's Palace scene is again at the back of the display still on the risers with a slave Leia, the Gamorrean guard, Bib Fortuna, Lando in disguise and Jabba himself there. There's sort of the Emperor and Vader having a battle at the end of the film, the translucent Vader and the original unmasked version of Vader. We could do with an updated unmasked version. Then we go down to what I call Luke versus the Rancor. I do love me a Rancor, so he is fighting Luke there in his Jedi outfit on the corner. And then we go over to the ones I couldn't really fit in anywhere, which are Admiral Akbar and Lando from Return of the Jedi. Then the new version, the archive version of Bausch Leia, because she comes on the or well, the same body, but the much better head sculpt, because the head sculpt for that other one is a bit crazy. Then Ewok Village Leia, and then Paplu on the speeder bike, and then we've got Han, Luke and Leia in their sort of Endor ponchos, again, they were the uh, three-pack, or the four-pack, I should say, SDCC releases, so that is it. So now I think it does give a nice sort of background diorama piece there, sort of hidden in a display, but as I say, I do like, I can do some displaying on top of it, I might try change it up every now and then and put in one of the, the speeder bikes on top, but it gives a bit of greenery, it gives a nice sort of background piece overall to the collection. So that, luckily, has done exactly what I wanted it to do. And it wasn't too bad to fit in, just needed to sort of move the Emperor over. So quite pleased with the results on this one. So if anybody is looking to do that for a Black Series display, that is what it would look like. But of course, all the world building these days is in the three and three quarter vintage collection. So started off on the wrong scale really, but we will stick with it now. So this is just the overall display for a quick look. So I've got the retro cars, just missing one from Jedi, and I can move those two down and fill the gap. But I like to have sort of one of every retro card in the Star Wars collection, the same as I've done with Marvel. I started with Marvel and then sort of felt bad for Star Wars, so I thought I need to do, need to do the same thing. Hoff, again, one of my favorite scenes from the original trilogy with the, um, Everything I can fit over there from Hoff and Boba Fett's three and three quarter inch slave one in the corner. Couldn't fit him anywhere else really. If you want to see there are some more vehicles here. The Millennium Falcons over there which is the vintage collection version. And there is the TIE Fighter hanging on the ceiling. And you've seen the X-Wing in the corner. So some more of the random Star Wars stuff in there. And then we go mainly into the Empire Strikes Back collection there with all the, with all the bounty hunters. And Rogue One is just behind it. And then the Emperor sitting on his Black Series throne with the scaled piece behind. So I just walk down the ladder and you can see sort of my view from on the floor. So that's doing just what I want, kind of disguised in there, but does the trick nicely, I T-bow on the top. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is a look at the Black Series Mandalorian Luke Skywalker. And then the three and three quarter inch Endor bunker. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I'll give you some ideas for your displays or anything. And we still collect Black Series these days. I have I have drastically cut down on, on Black Series. There's the Cantina Band. Just for shits and giggles, because who doesn't love the Cantina Band? I waited for them to be in the sale as well. £10 a pop they were, so you can't argue with that. So as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and of course subscribe as I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers in 2023 that's the target anyway i'm sort of well on the way to get there so thank you for the support everybody and that has been a look at those two from star wars so i will see you all on the next video